We are a nation of dog lovers, and many of us have lap dogs that wouldn't hurt a fly. But that's not to say all dogs are like that. Some dogs are bred to protect livestock and guard, and they can be complete disasters for any dangerous wild animal who dares try any funny business. From a dog built for guarding to one that's completely fearless, here are 20 dogs that are nightmares to wild animals. Number 20. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinschers were developed by German tax collector Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman in around 1890. He wanted a dog that would protect him, so it needed to be intelligent, strong, and built with impressive stamina. While we don't know what exact breeds were used to create the Doberman, it's believed that some were the Weimaraner, Rottweiler, German Pinscher, and Boceron. The old German Shepherd may also have formed part of the mix. These breeds create a medium to large domestic dog with a long muzzle, graceful gait, and markings on their muzzle, chest, around the paws and legs, and underneath the tail. Dobermans of today are actually a lot nicer than they used to be, thanks to modern-day breeders who tone down their aggression. They used to be personal protection dogs that certainly would make them nightmares to wild animals. They were watchful, energetic, obedient, and most importantly, fearless for the job they had to do. And most of us know many wild animals are cunning, so a dog that can outsmart them is crucial. Dobermans are incredibly talented dogs in mental tasks like problem solving and learning. They've even been ranked among the most intelligent dog breeds and some of the most trainable. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Cane Corso Cane Corso dogs are mastiffs from Italy that people generally have as companions, guard dogs, and as protection for livestock. They also used to be useful for herding cattle and hunting large game. And when you see one in person, you'll come to understand why they've been used for all of these tasks. They are muscular and massive, with the potential to weigh up to 110 pounds or 50 kilograms and stand in at about 28 inches high. You would not want to come face to face with one in the dead of night, that is for sure. Cane Corso dogs are are by no means dogs for first-time dog owners. They are headstrong, powerful, intelligent, and not to mention large. They require an owner who knows how to be firm and consistent without resorting to cruelty or force. They also need early and frequent socialization with people in all types of environments, even though there's very little chance of them being friendly towards people that aren't in their immediate family. It's also important to note that Cane Corso dogs have a strong prey drive, which is something many owners hope for when they're trying to drive away wild animals from their property and livestock. Number 18. Rottweiler Rottweilers have been working dogs for many, many decades. This large black and tan dog would be called upon to herd livestock and even pull carts with meat to markets because of their incredible strength. They are now often used as police dogs, guard dogs, and search and rescue dogs. They also make great pets for strong owners who know how to set firm boundaries for headstrong dogs. Rottweilers have many desirable qualities from a working dog and pet perspective. They are generally placid and good-natured, along with being devoted and obedient. However, when you're a firm owner, you also get to enjoy a biddable dog that loves to work, is fearless, and is self-assured while also keeping an even temper. <laughs> While many people own border collies for herding sheep and farm work, there's no denying that Rottweilers still have their place. They can protect livestock from threats and also move stubborn stock that other traditional farm dog breeds, like border collies, just can't shift. They do this by finding the dominant animal in a flock or herd and challenging it. They have a natural forcefulness and knack for herding, and some Rottweilers pick up the task without any experience at all. Number 17. Dogo Argentino 
Dogo Argentino, also known as Argentine Dogo, are large, muscular dogs that any person or wild animal would have a hard time messing with. They were developed in Argentina for the very purpose of big game hunting, which means they have no qualms about taking down a wild boar or other animals of a similar size that pose a potential threat. This striking white dog with a black spot was bred in 1928 from the Cordoba fighting dog Great Dane, Pointer, Dog de Bordeaux, and many other terriers and bulldogs. The resultant dog is one that can grow up to about 100 pounds and 28 inches tall. They have broad heads and muscular bodies that help them deliver power when they need it the most. Given the breeds they're made up of, they do need to be well socialized and brought up with a firm owner. However, they can become excellent big game hunters, police assistant dogs, and valued members of search and rescue teams and military groups with a popular foundation. These dogs are even exceptional guide dogs for the blind and do well with competitive obedience. Give them a job to do and they will do it to a high standard. According to the UKC breed standard, their main fault is an unsteady temperament, but they will amaze you with their endurance and courage working either alone or in packs. Number 16. Tibetan Mastiff the Tibetan Mastiff is an old breed that dates back hundreds of years. They were bred for the nomads of Tibet to work as guard and herding dogs in the Himalayas and Tibetan plateaus. Because of this history, they have all the typical traits you would need in a livestock guardian, such as barking and scent marking. They do avoid direct confrontation, but they can warn away predators and use force if they need to. Even though they are hardy dogs suited to the harsh environments of Mongolia, Tibet, and other high-altitude Himalayan ranges, they also fit family life. Tibetan Mastiffs, when socialized, can thrive as a companion for families with fenced and spacious yards. They can be aloof with strangers, but this is as a result of their selective breeding to be family guardians and flock protectors. They generally sleep throughout the day and become more active at night. This means that if they sleep outside at night, they're likely to bark at strange noises, making them one of the least favorite dogs for neighboring properties. It's also important to note that their working dog history and use as guard dogs makes training them absolutely crucial. A lack of it allows the dog to be the leader, and they can become unpredictable and even dangerous dogs. Number 15. Tosa Inu if you're wondering why you've never heard of a Tosa Inu, or at least have never seen one, it might be because it is banned in your country. This powerful dog from the Tosa region of Japan was bred from Mastiffs, Great Danes, Bull Terriers, and St. Bernards to become a fighting dog that would fight in a sumo wrestling style. It's for this reason that they are banned in several countries. Even though they are bred from many large, protective dogs, their natures can be quite gentle. They are known as sensitive and quiet dogs, but their bark is fierce. This can mean that if you live somewhere where the breed isn't banned, they will make quite the impressive guard dog to warn off would-be intruders. If you do own one, socialization from a young age is absolutely crucial. They need obedience training while they're still young, with constant reinforcement throughout their life. This dog breed is also not one you'd take to a dog park, since they have a high pain tolerance, will readily engage in a fight with other dogs, and can be challenging to control once they're in a fight. Even if the Tosa's not to blame for starting the fight, there's a high chance there could be a costly outcome for all involved, including the dog. Number 14. Caucasian of Charka Caucasian of Charkas, or Caucasian Shepherds, are the type of dogs you want to snuggle your face into. They look like gentle giants with big, long coats, but these dogs can be nightmares to wild animals, and they aren't the friendliest of dogs. They certainly aren't for first-time dog owners, that's for sure. They are fearless, strong-willed, and loyal dogs who are bred for guarding jobs around establishments like prisons, estates, and military facilities. <laughs> They are fierce protectors to those they consider their family, which includes other pets in the family, such as cats and dogs. Anyone else that comes to visit is viewed as a potential threat. Caucasian Shepherds are not a dog you would adopt or buy to have as a family pet. They need a job to do, and that job is generally guarding and protecting from potential threats. Still, they aren't the vicious monsters they're often made out to be, as long as you treat them well and socialize them from a young age. They are loyal, devoted, happy dogs that would eagerly protect you from any wild animal or threat that attempts to step foot on your property. Number 13. Bull Mastiff 
Bull Mastiffs are a popular dog, and for good reason. When you raise them right, they are sensitive, well-behaved dogs, and they love activities like carding, agility, tracking, and obedience. However, Bull Mastiffs are also a dog breed that would be a complete and utter nightmare to wild animals threatening your property or family. They were originally bred in England in the mid-1800s as working dogs to ward off poachers. They were created to be strong, large, and fast. These traits made them desirable for many people and businesses, and even a diamond mining company imported them to guard the mines. Once they find a poacher on land or someone they're not familiar with that poses a threat, they tackle and pin them until they're told to stop. And when you see what they look like, you would stop in your tracks if you were a would-be thief or criminal. They can weigh as much as 120 pounds and stand at about 26 inches at the withers. They have flat faces and short muzzles and a relatively broad chest. Many people welcome bull mastiffs into their homes to work as natural guardians, but firm owners are needed. You must also train and socialize them as they are known to be stubborn, independent dogs. Number 12. Band Dog Band dogs are not pooches you hear much about. They aren't popular family dogs, and you probably wouldn't consider them to be ideal family dogs anyway. Band dogs are Mastiff-type dogs bred from various Mastiffs and Terriers like Neapolitan Mastiff, American Pit Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, and English Mastiff. They were first bred in around 1250 to 1300 in England and were kept on a chain all day before being released at night to guard against possible intruders. They are the very dogs you'd want to have for this job. They are fierce, strong, eager, and stubborn dogs with heavy bodies. They've long been used for protection and as working class guard dogs. There can be so much involved in raising this dog that many people actually opt for other, easier breeds. They can be intimidating and ferocious when provoked, which means they are purely a working dog and not a family dog. I start barking more in the corner to take to get back. A lot of planning also needs to go into parent breed selections, and temperament testing needs to be at the top of the list. With the right combination of breeds, band dogs can be agile, intelligent, powerful, and well-controlled dogs that keep your property safe from any would-be intruder or wild animal that dares breach your property's boundaries. Number 11. Neapolitan Mastiff Neapolitan Mastiffs, often simply called Neos, are guard dogs that descended from traditional guard dogs in central Italy. They are related to the Cane Corso and are large, powerful dogs that can weigh up to 150 pounds while standing 30 inches at the withers. They have loose, abundant skin that hangs in wrinkles around their heads, and they can be a range of colors like gray, black, fawn, and hazelnut. These dogs are undoubtedly beautiful, but they also have a job to do. They were used as war dogs and protectors for thousands of years across Asia and Europe. Many people feel confident that their properties are safe when they have a Neo keeping guard. But that's not to say they don't also make excellent pets when they are off duty. Neos that have been well socialized and trained from a young age thrive in a family setting with plenty of space to move around. They can live well with other pets, but are known to be quite dominant. If you decide to adopt or buy one, you must do so knowing that this strong-willed, independent dog needs consistent training, a firm hand, and boundaries. It's also worth knowing that they're known to drool, snore when they sleep, and be messy when they eat and play. There's a lot to consider before welcoming one into your home. Number 10. Pitbull We'll address the elephant in the room here and say we know pit bulls get a bad rap. Some very bad people own these dogs, treat them poorly, and create aggressive dogs that can harm other people. In the early days, American Pit Bull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, and Staffordshire Bull Terriers would be bred for bear baiting, rat baiting, and bull baiting. These were horrific sports that were fortunately outlawed in England in 1835. Later, illegal dog fighting became popular with them, and people would make them aggressive to improve their chances of winning. So it's easy to assume that with so much selective breeding to make them a dog that would kill rats, fight bulls and bears, and fight other dogs, that they are an overall aggressive dog. In reality, harsh treatment made those dogs fight and act the way they did. They would be a nightmare to wild animals if they had been raised to guard and protect, but when they're raised in family homes with experienced owners, socialized and trained from a young age, there's every reason to believe you can enjoy a well-rounded family pet that will protect you at all costs, but will also be a loving member of your family.
Number 9. German Shepherd German Shepherds are highly intelligent dogs that live in many family homes without issue. However, most experienced owners know that when given the command, they could be a nightmare to wild animals attempting to access your property. German Shepherds are intelligent working dogs that come from Germany. They were originally developed as herding dogs to herd sheep, but their trainability, obedience, intelligence, and strength made them ideal for a variety of working roles. It's now not uncommon to find them working with police forces and the military worldwide, while also being involved in search and rescue efforts and as disability assistance workers for those who need them most. Perhaps not surprisingly, they are the third most registered breed in the U.S. German Shepherds are medium to large dogs that can have medium or long fur. They can be black, tan and black, and a mixture of these colors. Their aggression is something you hear about quite a lot. When they aren't socialized, they can become far too overprotective of their territory and family, which makes them a possible danger to people visiting. From 1971 to 2018, a study of pure breed dogs found that they were responsible for the most bites severe enough to require hospital care. However, once you take their popularity into account, they drop to 38th place. If you do happen to be an intruder trying to access a property guarded by a German Shepherd, you're not making a wise choice by breaking in. This dog's bite force is over 1,060 newtons, which can inflict some serious damage. Number 8. Gold Dong Gold Dongs are the result of a Bully Kutta and Gull Terrier breeding. They come from India and Pakistan and are primarily used as hunting and guarding dogs. Unfortunately, people also use them for dog fighting. Due to their breeding and background, they do make an ideal protector, but they're perhaps not a dog for first-time or inexperienced owners. While they're loyal and intelligent, they can also be strong-willed and aggressive. They need someone to be in charge of them to keep their manners in check. Gold dogs can be affectionate with their family, but like all dogs, you should not leave them alone with children, even older children. They are also dogs that do much better with jobs to do than to simply be your family pet. They are incredibly active, always alert, and are very protective of territory they believe is yours. Any stranger that visits is viewed as a potential threat, which drives home the point that an experienced owner is necessary for this dog breed. What's also worth knowing is that the gold dog can be a a bit of a grumpy dog. Training and socialization are crucial from a young age for the best chance of raising a well-rounded pooch. Someone highly skilled in training is vital to get control over their dominance and possible aggression. Number 7. Borbul Borbuls are intimidating guard dogs from South Africa. Here, they were bred and raised to work as guardians for homes and families in remote parts of South Africa where threats of intruders could be particularly high. As a result, they are confident and dominant dogs that are bright, eager to learn, and not afraid to get stuck in to protect their owners. Their intimidating looks also means they might not need to rely on barking and attacking to get the results they desire. <laughs> However, it's not just the threat of people intruders that they are protecting their owners from. Their fearlessness and agility make them suitable for homeowners who find themselves continually in close quarters with wild animals like baboons and lions. They can quite happily chase after them and enter battles with wildlife and come out on top. You might be surprised to learn that Borbles aren't just fierce protectors, they also have a soft spot for their family and those they've been put in charge of protecting. This was bred into them since they needed to know how to behave around people they should love and people they shouldn't. As a result, some Borbles have been bred and raised as therapy dogs since they can be pretty docile. Number 6. Bully Kutta Bully Kutta is a Mastiff breed from Pakistan and India that people call the Beast from the East. They are dog-aggressive dogs with muscular structures and broad heads that are generally white. However, it's not uncommon to find red, brindle, fawn, black, and combinations of these colors. Bully Kuttas can grow up to be giant dogs weighing up to 170 pounds and standing about 44 inches at the withers. Many owners crop their ears to make them look fiercer, and they are often put into dog fights, which is extremely saddening. These dogs are energetic, alert, and intelligent, but they aren't good with other pets at all. In saying that, if they're raised right, they can sometimes be good with children. Their temperament and behavior are factors that may put you off from having them as family pets. They are much better suited to life as a working dog with a job to do. They can be aggressive by instinct, and their dominance means they may be dangerous to owners and strangers. <laughs>
Bully Cuttas need a lot of space, plenty of socialization, and even more training from a young age right through to adulthood. They also have strong senses of smell and hearing, which makes them ideal guard dogs for protecting your territory. They are quite happy to sleep all day so they can guard your home at night. Number 5. Kangal Kangal Shepherd Dogs are livestock guardians from Sivas, Turkey. They remain a popular dog breed in Turkey to this day and are often bought and adopted as a sheep dog. They aren't herding dogs, but they will actively protect flocks of sheep from predators of all shapes and sizes, including jackals, wolves, bears, lions, cheetahs, and other big cats. Kangals are large dogs weighing up to about 130 pounds, and this size makes them quite intimidating. <laughs> you'd likely have success having them as a guardian of your property. Even though Kangals have an important job to do on your property, their temperament makes them a much-loved companion. They are powerful, protective, and independent, but they are also calm and controlled. When you socialize and train them from a young age, they can be friendly with visitors to your property and even children, but they can also sense changes in a situation at a moment's notice. They can quickly switch from being a loving family pet to a fierce protector if the situation calls for it, and they are not a breed that suits first-time dog owners. Number 4. Bull Terrier Blood sports are awful, but they were quite commonplace and popular until they were outlawed in most places. At one time, bulldogs were used in dog fighting, but they were too slow, so people started crossing them with terriers that would have the power of a bulldog, but the fiery spirit and determination of terriers. So bull terriers were born. However, dog fighting was eventually outlawed and bull terriers didn't really serve a purpose, so they became a bit of a fashion statement. Breeders refined them over time to become better companion dogs with sweeter temperaments. Today, they are endearing and playful dogs that can be stubborn. They love exercise and affection, but they haven't forgotten their roots, which means they're still powerful and incredibly agile dogs with a lot of muscle. This dog can suit family homes perfectly, but bull terriers do require training and plenty of early socialization around people and dogs in new environments. It's also worth pointing out that they love people so much that they aren't the type of dog you can have if you're a busy professional who's never home. They need lots of playtime time and exercise, along with consistent training to keep them on the straight and narrow. Number 3. Great Pyrenees Great Pyrenees are beautiful mountain dogs from France. They are trusted livestock guardian dogs and are closely related to the Pyrenean Mastiff. While they might look like a dog breed to welcome into your family home, they can also be an employee on your property. These dogs are prevalent across France to work as livestock guardians around the Pyrenees and French Alps. They protect flocks from bears and wolves and also protect them from various animals in the United States. Pyrenean Mountain Dogs, as they're also known, are protective and independent, which makes them more than up to the task of being a protector dog. While many guardian dogs have a single master they respond to, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog will be bonded to an entire family and is also quite affectionate toward the children in that family. They are intelligent and fast learners, which means it won't take them long to pick up what you expect from them. But that's not to say they'll actually listen to you all the time. They can be pretty difficult to train due to their independence and stubbornness. Training early on is crucial because due to their size, beginning training after six months of age can be a physically demanding job. Number 2. Boxer Boxers are medium to large dogs with smooth coats that come in white, brindle, and fawn coloring. They are known as brachycephalic dogs, which means they have short skulls and noses. They were bred from the old English bulldog and the bullenbicer, which is now extinct. While they are crazy, friendly, playful, lovable clowns that suit family homes well, they were actually developed in Germany as hunting mastiffs. Got your, got your hands full of you. Yeah, come. The Bullenbeiser was a dog used to pursue bears, deer, and wild boar, and they would seize and hold the animal until the hunters arrived. The Boxer is accepted as a direct descendant of this breed. Today, they are definitely companion dogs, but that's not to say that they don't have other uses. They are agile, strong, and alert, which makes them suitable as guard dogs, and people also train them for obedience and agility trials, along with flyball events. Due to their intelligence and strength, you might even see them used for herding cattle and sheep, 
forming part of police canine units, and even as service and guide dogs. Their versatility made them quite popular in the military at one point too, and they could be attack and guard dogs and pack carriers during wartime. Number 1. Husky Huskies are popular family pets, but they haven't always been. They are working dogs that are used to pull sleds in polar regions. They are athletic, energetic, and many Huskies today still have their hunting instincts. While some people purchase Huskies for their looks, they are not a dog you can leave at home for long periods by themselves. They need a job to do and require a lot of physical and mental stimulation. Failure to provide that can be a recipe for disaster since they can be quite destructive and loud if left alone. As a result, if you're gonna own one, you better be prepared to do fun things with them often. Huskies are more than suitable for rally obedience, dog hiking, bike touring and skijoring, carding, and agility training. Sledding is also an ideal activity if you live somewhere with plenty of snow and appropriate terrain. They don't make particularly good guard dogs since they have non-aggressive temperaments and are friendly, but they do make suitable watchdogs with very little training. And if you're tired of rabbits and other small critters visiting your property, that can be a problem of the past with a husky that that has a high prey drive. Some dogs can be bred for guarding and protection and still be a much-loved family pet, but they'll be ready to protect you from wild animals at a moment's notice. Do you have any of these dog breeds? Do you trust them to protect you when you need it the most? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.